if my bike was a person, it would be a nudist. It would wear a speedo everywhere. A speedo everywhere. everywhere. Neon yeah, pink. I call him my stallion because I have a riding hat that I wear on it on him. <laughs> I've been just riding a bike as my main method of transportation for the past six years now. This is my second winter. For f 13 years, I guess. Officially, this is my first winter that I'm just doing it, but I did it last winter with some days off. Yeah, with Metro Pass. It's a bit colder. And the only problem you have is you just have to wear different shoes in the winter. Other than that, you get a few dirt spots on you, but that's no big deal. I'm not a clean kid. I don't need clean clothes. It's just like cycling all year round. It's a bit more involved, but everything in the winter is a bit more involved. I know exactly what happens. Basically, the uh, road capacity is reduced because of the fact that it snows, so the cyclists have to move closer into the middle of the road, and um, it gets in the way of motorists. Especially in the winter, they seem to have no no regard for bikers. They don't expect you to be there, or they just don't care that you're there. They like drive right at you, even though they can fully see you. They open their car doors, they'll veer into you, and it's slushy like today. They just speed past you right through a puddle, and it's just revolting. I think the attitude is that cyclists don't belong on the road in winter. And what are you doing? And you're crazy, and you're slowing me down. But I always do think of things that I want to say, but that's usually too late. Like a block later? Yeah, exactly, like a block later. Like, oh, damn, I wish I'd said... Assholes. Assholes? Yeah. Or, like, anything that comes to mind while I'm biking, lots of words come to mind. <laughs> Fucker! Because I know they can see my lips, and they know that I just said that. <laughs>
and having a very kind of, I am not going to use the word sensuous, but like a very uh, careful relationship with them. And so like this tool is very precise and you have to spend a lot of time and just kind of meditate on getting the wheel perfect. It takes a while and you need to just spin the wheel. It's, just, it's very meditative and careful. <laughs> without sounding like totally cliched or dorky. Yeah, um, I do it because there's an old World Watch, I think it's World Watch issue number 99 or something, and it was called Bicycle Vehicle for a Small Planet. I just think it's, I'm not a vegetarian, but I feel like if everyone could be a vegetarian and ride their bikes instead of driving their cars, then the world would be like in pretty good shape. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's just, Biking in the winter is more fun. You get to actually experience the winter. You're not locked up. You're not holed up. You don't experience that same depression when you're not holed up all day. You don't have to deal with, oh, it's too hot I, I, or it's too muggy outside or cold and I don't want to go anywhere and I want to sit in my house and be lazy bum. You don't do that. If you want to go somewhere, you got to get on the bike and go. Mostly, it's not because of any... Um idealism I have. I just am a bit of a bad planner, so you get used to being able to get some bikes on your bike within a certain amount of time, and then you realize in the morning, oh my god, I've only got 20 minutes. I, the only way you can get to where you're going is by bike. How do I feel? I feel great. I feel like I've been riding my bike all winter. I grip it and I rip it. See? <laughs> That's what my bike would say. <laughs> I like the exhilaration of biking. I like how it gets my blood rushing in the morning and I just my days are generally better when I've had a a bike.